Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we'll be making some cheesy, delicious, vegan Rotel dip. So we started off today by cutting off both sides of the carrots and we are going to shave the skin on the outer layer of the carrot off and then we're going to chop it down to smaller pieces now if you do have a potato peeler you can use this to do the outer shaving but i don't have one i don't like them so i am using just a regular knife and i'm just taking it and shaving off the outside and we also want to go ahead and cut them into smaller pieces This recipe does include two carrots, so we are going to do the same thing to a second carrot. Next, we're going to take one and a half potatoes. We're going to peel the outer skin off of those and also chop them up very small. You don't have to worry about chopping them in a specific shape because we are going to add these ingredients to the food processor to blend them down to make our Rotel dip cheese. If you do need exact ingredients and exact measurements, remember the ingredients are listed down in the description. We're also gonna cut half of a white onion. Go ahead and cut that down into smaller pieces and add that to the side with our other ingredients. Once we have everything chopped up, we're gonna go ahead and add that to a pot. I'm also gonna add one cup of cashews and we're gonna add some spring water, whatever type of water you have. And we're gonna boil these until they are completely soft. Remember to always use a fork to check. We are gonna slide over and make the mixture for our meat substitute. So we are using avocado oil. I'm also using coconut aminos, nutritional yeast, and I'm also gonna be using some Creole seasoning. Once we have that completely mixed, we're gonna go ahead and add in a block of tofu. Now, this tofu is very, very cold, so, you know, <laughs> if you have some gloves, you can definitely use those, but we're gonna crumble them down into small pieces, just like some ground beef or ground turkey or whatever type of ground meat that normally goes into Rotel dip, but we are just crumbling it up with our hands. You can switch hands, do it however you like. If you don't get the pieces as small as you like, you can always do this part with a spoon or a fork. Once it's completely crumbled, we're gonna go ahead and mix that tofu in with that mixture that we created and make sure that it is completely coated and every piece of the tofu is brown. And then we're going to lay it on a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper and go ahead and let it bake in the oven on 400 for about 30 minutes or until it gets very, very crispy and brown.
Once our veggies are nice and tender, we wanna go ahead and strain them into a bowl because we wanna sit some of this water to the side. We are gonna use it later. So once we have them drained, we're gonna go ahead and add these ingredients to our food processor. We're also going to add some nutritional yeast. We'll also be using some onion powder, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. We're also gonna be using some vinegar, about a half cup of plant milk, and then about a cup of that water that our veggies boiled in and we're gonna start the food processor on puree and blend it until it becomes completely smooth like a cheese sauce or a paste Next in a pot, we're gonna add just a little bit of avocado oil. We're also going to add a can of Rotel tomatoes or Rotel mix. We're also gonna add about a half a cup of plant milk. And then we're also gonna be using some shredded cheese today, y'all. Y'all already know I love the Dyer brand cheese, but I am using that in like the mild cheddar, I believe is what it's called. But I just wanted it to be extra creamy. Then we're gonna add that sauce, that pureed veggies that we made and give that a good mix just to get that nice and incorporated all together. Now I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? I need another can of the tomatoes or the Rotel dip. So I decided to go ahead and add another can to the mix. So that's gonna be a total of two cans with this specific measurement for the cheese. And then we're gonna give that a good mix and let it cook on simmer for just a few minutes. For our chips, we'll be using some street taco wraps and I'm just gonna cut them into fours, just a stack of them. And once we cut them into fours, we're gonna go ahead and fry them in some grape seed oil. So make sure to have your grape seed oil heated up and just drop them down. Make sure that your grease is hot as well. And you wanna flip them on each side until both are golden brown. And this is how the Rotel and tortilla chips turned out, y'all. It was so delicious. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below if you're going to be making some vegan Rotel dip. And I'll see y'all on the next video.